One of my very first memories was standing right up close to a television set. And the reason why I did that was because I went up to turn it up all the way. I couldn't hear it. Yet I was so delighted to feel it. To feel the sound. And to see the light undulating. It was such a beautiful memory. I was too. And it was pretty much the same time that my mom realized that I was having a hard time hearing. That experience informed me of something. Of feeling sound and seeing vibration like this picture. So between one and five, there's this inner tripod that forms and the senses go on top. Well, if there's an issue with ear infections, hearing, eyes, head trauma, emotional trauma, the information might not go where it needs to go. That happened for me, and I believe many people. I was challenged by things that really weren't understood until later, like being very right brain in a left brain world. I didn't have full on stereo vision, and focus was an issue. Well, how does one focus and concentrate when one's eyes aren't moving smoothly or tracking properly. Tracking became one of the sensory exercises that I did. And it was from that experience that I created this photographic series called A Light Between Heaven and Earth, which is Birds in Flight. The study of birds and nature and what I was seeing within it led me to the study of biomimicry. Biomimicry is the study of nature and instead of bio-utilizing, it looks at the blueprints. Well, I've been studying spider webs, and webs have become a fascination for me. When I think of spider webs, I think of how we are in utero. We're undulating in this field, and the spiders are on that field, and on that web, and in the movement. And they build those webs and rebuild them each day, and in feeling the field around them, they can respond to the vibration. If something gets caught, they know where to go, they feel it. They actually tune it. To me, it's a great example of a feedback loop. Well, something that I noticed was in my right ear, it felt like the sound wasn't bouncing back. Well, if people can echolocate, which they can, then sound bounces back. I felt like I wasn't getting that feedback information in my right ear, which meant maybe it wasn't going to the left side of my brain. I also learned about mirroring, which is crossing over the brain. The thing about mirroring is it's so embedded in the way we learn in those formative years of our lives. We're mirroring our parents and everything around us. So I thought about mirroring in the sense of giving the other side of my brain information it wasn't normally getting. So I did an experiment. And in the experiment, I took an existing stereo microphone. So two mics, a left and a right, and I swapped them. The channel from the left went to the right, and the right went to the left. And I walked around the world, bringing in the sound of everything around me. The thing that it did was it calmed my nervous system and brought me into a different state. The experience was so enjoyable because it's not just amplification. It's feeding new information. So my brain was getting this new information from the environment around me. So you know what it did? It fixed my stereo vision. The purpose of sharing my personal story is so that you can get a feel for my creativity and thinking and some of what I have to offer that can add value to a team of people who are creating experiences and products that can enhance and change people's lives.